Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Practical Media. This is your host Phil. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you exactly how to add a beautiful pop-up inside of your Shopify website in about five minutes. I'm going to be introducing you to one of the best apps that you can use for this purpose called Pop Convert. And I'm going to be teaching you how to customize this pop-up in order to fit the look and feel of your specific website. Now, before getting started, I would urge you that I put out helpful content like this on a daily basis. So consider subscribing to the channel, turning on your bell notifications, doing all that good stuff so that it's more motivation for me to keep bringing out helpful content like this in the future. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. Now, before beginning, one thing that you need to do is that you need to log in into your Shopify dashboard, first of all. Then what you need to do is that you need to come inside of this apps section. Then go to apps and channel settings. From here, you'll be able to see all the apps that you have currently installed inside of your Shopify dashboard. Now, you simply need to come here into the top right hand side and click on Shopify App Store. Once inside of the app store, simply come to the search bar and search for pop up. And from here, just scroll down and download the pop convert app. I click on the install button. Okay, so now I am inside of the pop convert dashboard. Now, since I had downloaded this plugin earlier, uh, one of my pop-ups is still appearing here. Let me just go ahead and let me just delete it real quick. Just give me one moment. Mm. All right. Let me just teach you exactly how to use this app. Okay, let's just keep it that way for now. Let's not delete it for now. What I will do is that I will just come here and uh, they will basically ask you to do a bunch of things here like enable the app and create for, create your first campaign and stuff. I've done I've done all that. But basically what you need to do in order to add this pop-up is that you need to come into this campaign section and click on pop-up. I'll disable this one for the time being. Then you can come here and click on the create a new pop-up button. And you can select a campaign name. Let me just put in the name test. And you can choose a goal for your pop-up. Now I want to get more subscribers to my email list. So I will select the get subscribers uh, pop-up goal. But you can select any of these three goals if you want to. I will click on create pop-up. Now I have the option of creating this pop-up from scratch. Okay, so let me just show you exactly how to work with this. Now, first of all, if you want to customize the background color, you can do that from here. Now, for example, if I want to make this background color black, I can just put in here 000, and the background will be converted to black. The main title coloring, I can actually change the coloring of the main title from here. So I can like, make it white text color. I will also make that white so that it appears on the black background. And we can basically adjust the padding, uh, the opacity around the box and also edit a bunch of other things from inside of here. If I also want to, I can add a custom image here. Like I can just go to the upload section, add a direct link here from the web browser or, you know, just select a local file from my, my PC. I'll be able to add it here. Let me just try adding this photo here. So it will take a little bit of time. Hero image. Okay. It was not at just one more minute. Let us see if it actually re reflects or not. Okay. So as you can see, you can add the background image like this. Now, let me show you a bunch of other things here. So goals, as I've shown you before, you can actually select the goals from here. And if you want to, there's one amazing thing that, that you can do with this, uh, this pop up is that uh, like you can come here and you can actually add a coupon code here. And you can make this coupon code to appear in a way that whenever somebody comes in and puts your their email and subscribes, then you can actually show them this coupon and provide them with a discount, it would be a little more good incentive for them to kind of like uh, join your email list. So I do suggest that you like create the coupons and provide them the discounts and uh, creating the coupons is fairly simple. You just need to come here into the discount section, create a discount and uh, you have the option to like select uh, what kind of like discount you are going to be providing. So you can put an off on the products or on the total order, Give get a buy, buy one or get like buy X and get Y discount uh, or offer like free shipping. So it's pretty straightforward. You can do that if you want to and just provide the coupon code here. 
so that your customers get it whenever they sign in. Now, let me go into the content feature. Now, inside of the content feature, you'll be able to see that uh, it has the main form where like stuff like you can enable the email, the name, phone number if you want to, but I just want the email, so I'll just keep it as it is. And from the text feature, you can basically customize the test text here. So we got a sweet discount just for you. Follow us on social media. Uh, we got a 10% discount just for you. Okay, so as you can see, I can customize it whatever way that I like. And I can add the social networks, customize the social networks, like put in the URL for the social networks from inside of here and enable and disable it according to my pleasure. So yeah. So these are the main three things that we need to talk, talk about. Now let's talk about some other things here. Now this basically within the settings feature, they, this actually shows the timeline uh, of the of exactly when the, the pop-up should appear once the page has been loaded. Now you can customize it to be set on whatever parameters that you want to, like the ones that are listed here. So you can either set it on a five second delay, like once the page loads, and the pop-up appears like after five seconds of uh, of the page actually loading. You can actually either set it as that or you can set it to appear immediately or you can put a delay of up to 60 seconds. So yeah. And once the pop-up has been closed, you can show the same use of the pop-up after a period of seven days ends or you can, you can choose to show them on every new session, every new payload, or after a gap of about three months. And uh, if in case you're marketing to someone within the European countries, then you can enable this GDPR compliance if you want to. And you can add webhooks as well inside of here. Now, last but not least, this is a section which uh, is very handy as well. What it does is that it does not display, like you can enable this pop-up to appear in all the pages inside of your website or you can enable this pop-up to appear at, in in certain sections of the website so i can just disable all pages here and i can basically include the pages within which this pop-up will be shown and exclude the pages within which it won't be showed so i can basically for example like if i want this pop-up to just appear on the shop page so i can add the shop page from here i can add the url for the shop page and if i just want this page to appear on the collections page, I can do that as well. But if I want to exclude this pop-up to appear in like a cart page or a search page, I can like put it inside of the exclude section and it wouldn't appear in that section. It wouldn't appear in that page. Last but not least, there's the conversion window, which basically shows a message or it basically like does something like it redirects to a URL or something after the visitor has been converted. So yeah, that's how it works. Now, basically what I can do is I can hit the save button and uh, I know it looks quite ugly, but uh, I'm just showing this for demo purposes. So uh, bear with me. Now, once I come back, I have the option to enable this particular pop-up and only after enabling it will it start to work. So let me click on enable. So this pop-up is now active. So let me just check it out in the front end, okay? As you are able to see, the pop-up is appearing and it looks good, but you can customize it whatever way that you see fit. So it wouldn't be like as ugly as it looks right now. And you can actually like customize it to look to the look and feel of your website. So don't, don't worry about it. Also, one more thing that I need to show is that you can use uh, this, this, this app actually provides you with many templates that you can directly import to your website. So let me show you an example of this. So any of these templates that you like, you can just come here and uh, like you can just click on use template, click on use template. And directly, if you don't need to customize anything else, just click on save, go back and simply enable this. Let me check that out in the front end. Hmm. Okay, just give me one moment. Let me see if it is on incognito. I'm able to see it in incognito.
see so it is appearing now uh, it looks pretty good and you can use whatever template that you like okay so that's basically how you add a beautiful pop-up feature inside of your Shopify website. If you like this video and found it to be helpful, uh, do all that good stuff like subscribe to the channel, turn on your bell notifications, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, thank you so much for your support, guys. Now have a good day.